Many a movie trailer promises a thrill a minute, but a growing audience is looking for just the opposite. David Pogue provides the proof. When you picture a modern video game, you might assume that it involves shooting, or racking up points, or at least winning. But in fact, some of the most popular games these days look like this. A little to the left is a game where you sort, stack, and tidy up the house. No timer, no opponents, no losing. They're called cozy games or simulation games. Forget about war games like Call of Duty. This one's more like Call of Dirty. This game is called Unpacking. And what you do in this game is unpack. There's also Lawn Mowing Simulator. Fish Keeper. American Truck Simulator. And then there's Airplane Mode. It's a flight simulator where you're not the captain. You're a passenger in coach. This is your captain speaking. We've been notified by air traffic control that our landing to Halifax has been delayed. Not fight and flight, you know, not adrenaline pumping, but rather tend and befriend type of games where you're relaxing, you're hanging out, you're doing- Kelly Dunlap is a psychologist and a game designer. No pressure. Do you have any ideas about why they seem to be catching on now? Well, I don't know if you know, but there was this thing that happened in 2020 where everybody's lives got completely flipped upside down and the chaos rock we're on just got even more chaotic. And so for a lot of people, normalcy, control, predictability um, were things that were missing since 2020. And so we're finding games that are tapping into those needs that are not being met in our day-to-day -day lives. Is, is there something to the ease of mastery of these games? I mean, you're, you're playing inside of five minutes. Yeah, when we see something that is, it's simple and it's really easy to understand. We went from here to here. It went from clean to dirty. It went from rough to smooth. Yeah, that definitely itches parts of our brain that want to know that we as humans have autonomy and that our decisions matter. Believe it or not, it gets weirder. Instead of playing these games, some people like to watch other people playing these games. This is such a surreal thing that we're seeing. When Power Wash Sim came out, it peaked the top 10. So we know that it was competing with the big dogs. Mary Kish is the head of community at Twitch, the website where 31 million people a day go to watch other people play video games. We're looking for salt, boys. It's really fun watching someone who's really good at a video game play it. Mary is doing triple duty for this interview. She's a Twitch streaming star. She works at Twitch and she's a fan of cozy games. Oh, my oven's dead. That's why. OK, oh, I got it. How does it feel to fail a pizza making simulation? You don't fail pizza, <laughs> you learn pizza. Oh, I can understand the pleasure and the relaxation of playing these games. Yeah. Why would someone go on Twitch and watch someone else do it? <laughs> I don't get it. One of the reasons is, is that you want to try before you buy. Before I spend $20 on a game, it's kind of nice to watch a streamer play it for an hour. But that's just one half of the story. You were watching this mundane activity being taken out by a person that's extremely charismatic and charming, and you're probably there for them more than that game. According to Kelly Dunlap, the simulation games would be fun to play, even for someone who does the same work in real life. Their idealized world. I show up, I power wash, and I go home. I don't have to worry about billing or taxes or showing up late or there being a kink in the hose or, you know, whatever it is. To test that theory, I invited Juan Salazar, who owns a landscaping and power washing company, to try a simulator. That's a nice bun. I don't know why they never clean it, right? <laughs> yes. The paint is so beautiful. <laughs> I know. So is it the same? pleasure that you get from the real one, or is it a different kind of pleasure? 
Uh, this one's more fun. Yeah? Yeah, I, I like it. The real one, we get wet and <laughs> the pen where, we, where we're working, we get wet and maybe bleach. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So this one is more nice. Yeah. <laughs> 25 bucks. It could be yours. <laughs> That's so good, man.